Hey yo, what's up everybody? Homes here and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 15. Today we are gonna be taking on one of the tougher enemies. This is one this is another dungeon boss. And this is uh this this guy, he's he's freaking tough. Uh you could cheese this guy, but we're gonna take this guy on legit because that's that's the way we, we play games. We get we gonna cheese guys, come on. We're not gonna range anybody. So is that samurai guy down there? And we're just gonna whoop it and whoop his ass while we get our asses whooped. Now this guy likes to do a lot of draw slashes. And man, I would like I would kill his ass for his katana and you know grab it, but you can kill his ass but you can't get his katana, so <laughs> but anyways, um yeah there's enemies around it. Um I wouldn't worry too much about it if you guys are around this guy's level. I'm take I'm like a little fifty something right here, I believe. And yeah, I'm taking this guy on. At this point of the game, I'm still in chapter two, so I don't have the special cool move that you can get when you finish the chapter. But yeah, anyways, uh, I don't want to spoil, so I'm just gonna leave that for you for you guys to discover. But yeah, this guy, um, the way to beat him, the way I beat him, it's um, you you focus, you you want him to focus attacking you, because if he does any like draw slash and your team doesn't block it, he will knock him out in one shot. This guy is crazy. Um, so, yeah, and the skill I'm going to be using for this one, it's Overwhelm from Ignis, and it, as you guys can see, it does decent damage. This guy doesn't move around too much, so that moves, that move works fairly well against him. Uh, so, for this guy, you pretty much want to stay locked on and hold square for most of the fight, alright? So, yeah, uh, I'm just like, I'm just blocking and parrying here. And that's the way I take him down. If your team goes down, make sure you pick him up because if not, there's a good chance you'll wipe him out and like instantly. If he does that, make sure you warp away because of that sword stab and there's like multiple stuff that pops out of the ground. So you just warp away. You can't you can't phase through that, so don't even bother trying. Um but yeah, that's pretty much how you take down this guy. Or if you guys want, you guys can stay on one on top of one of the platforms. And I've seen people cheese this guy like that. Look, <laughs> he just took out my team in one hit. Look at that shit. Make sure you pick him up. Um you don't want them to go down because that that overwhelm is gonna be very useful. Come here, Gladios. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, if you guys want the easy tactic, stay on top of one of the platforms. He doesn't he doesn't come up and equip a pistol and you can just shoot your way to victory but it takes forever um i gave that a shot and i was like you know what this is this shit is boring i'm gonna take this guy the fun way and just parry and counter his ass and pretty much just sword fight him all the way yeah this guy looks pretty cool but yeah um that's the way to take him down overwhelm and just make sure his attention is on you most of the time and just block and parry his ass, and that's how you take him down. See ya, samurai dude. And of course, the fight's not over until you take care of all the little guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this fight. So I thank you all for watching, and I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful and enjoyable. And if y'all found all three of those qualities to be in this video, then hey, stay tuned for more because there's a lot more bosses I want to show off to you guys. But until then, I will see you all later. Um, also, I'll be taking on dungeons. Uh, that's that's gonna come up soon as well. But yeah, anyways, that that's it for me th for now. Uh, so yeah, series three this time. I'll see y'all later. Holmes out.